What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is series of tutorials on MPI implementation in Fortran. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at the broadcast subroutine available in MPI. Now broadcast subroutine is actually used, used uh, if certain process wants to communicate data to all the other processes. Usually uh, because of the independent, independent nature of the processes in MPI, uh, if one process makes a modification, the data has to be reflected to other processes on request. All right. So for that, we in the previous tutorials we saw the send and receive commands in detail. But if you notice in send and receive, uh, send and receive happens through uh, between only a pair of processes. That is, one process sends the data, other process receives it. If you want to send uh, the data to all the other processes, then uh, you might have to create multiple send requests. And for and uh, for, and uh, each process should take its own receive comp receive request to take take it out, take the data out, uh, isn't it? Now, is there what if there is a simpler way? Yes, there is one, and that is called as uh, broadcast. What broadcast does is that it helps one of the processes to send the data to all other processes without any receive without any receive call. All right. So if one process does some work and gathers data or does some co intense computation work or just read some data file let's say then what broadcast does is that it helps the process this particular process under consideration to take the take up the data and send it to all other processes all right and that's it this uh, the re reason for this motive uh, is that let one process do all do alone the work okay if uh, all the process does the same work let's say the it might be inter computational intensive so uh, yeah, i think in these cases it's preferred to do let one process to do the do the entire thing and afterwards let the data be given to all other processes and this works as this reduces computation as you uh, under the condition that the processing takes more time than the data communication processing takes more effort computational work than compared to the communication all right under that condition, this works out to be fine. All right, so let's actually get started. We'll I'll come to this caution part and um, caution part as we go along. Now I have my program template ready uh, with the uh, MPI module included with the uh, error value rank I rank pro I mean rank variable the number of processes variable I initialized MPI set the communicate communicator size set the ranks for uh, all other processes and finalized MPI over here. Cool. Now actually let's start the code for this video. Now first thing we need is that we need some variable which will have the broadcast data. So let me set that over here. Let x1 be the variable where uh, the data that, that, that we like to broadcast to all other processes be stored and let it have some initial value 0. All right. And next what we'll do is we'll create a variable choice and this variable will store the rank or the process ID of the process that is going to broadcast this particular data all right so choice is going to be the uh, rank process id or the rank of the process that is going to alter this value x1 and broadcast it to all other processes all right so that's why i put it put this as the rank rank that will broadcast all right now what we need to do what we need to do is that uh, let's print out all this data once before broadcasting, let's go to the main part. We don't have much things to do, much thing left over here. Okay, so in the main part, what we'll do is we'll just print this data before broadcasting. Okay, so makes sense. Now what we'll do is that uh, before we'd actually broadcast the data, I think it will be better if we just uh, run this code for once. So I have the shell script ready for this code. All all set and done. So I just want took the previous programs and then modify the execute variable name file name that's it other than that nothing much fancy about it now if i type bcast sh and there you go and it, there you go you see this information before broadcast rank comma data equals zero comma zero rank comma data equals one comma zero like that repeat this again repeat this again repeat this again the order might change but nevertheless the output remains consistent all right so that means that uh, up to this point our program is working fine. Now, if without any broadcast, all the processes will return the value zero. Cool. Now, now let's actually uh, after this before broadcasting we have this. Now let's say that uh, one of the process does some modifications. 
okay so let me copy this particular piece of code and paste it and it's very easy to write this up because it's fairly it's not that much of a complex code so there you go what we do is now what we're doing right now is that if if the particular rank under process under consideration equals to the choice choice uh, uh, process id we will set the value x1 for that particular process to be rank plus two uh, multi rank plus two to the to the power two all right so thereby uh, we have some non-zero value available with x1 okay and uh, okay now what we, what do i do is now let me print copy this copy this line and paste it without broadcasting okay so what it should ideally happen is that for all other processes the value should before and after broadcast should be equal to zero and for that process under consideration the value of x1 should value of the data should be different before and after broadcast okay we haven't done the broadcast yet but still it should be different now let me clear this now run this and the and uh, let's see there you go you see before broadcast rank comma data is zero comma zero for rank zero, the data is zero before broadcast. For all other processes up to here, the rank before and after broadcast, I mean the value before and after broadcasting is zero. Whereas for rank zero, rank zero, the value after this is four. Makes sense? All right. Now, now we know that uh, the process X1 has been multiplied only for the rank zero, which is the one that we chose over here. Now what I'll do is let's actually write copy down the write the broadcast line and see what happens. So this is the syntax for MPI broadcast. What you need is you need the start variable that is the variable that from which you want to start and then the count the number of units of data that you're going to send. So here since x1 is just a integer, I mean in one integer value, I'll just send one. Since it's an integer, I'm going to send use the use the data type MPI int and the root corresponds to the uh, process ID that is going to broadcast the data to all other processes. So I'm going to keep this as choice because I'm setting the choice to be in mean, the process ID uh, that's going to broadcast to be zero. And then it requires the count data. So I'm going to use MPI count world and then the error variable. variable. All right, now this being said, this actually completes the program. And now let's run this code and see for uh, and see what happens over here. Now look at this. Check this out. Before broad before broadcast, rank z for rank zero the data is zero, and after broadcast, rank zero has the data four. That's fa fa fairly obvious because that's anticipated because we are modifying in rank zero. Now here's the here's the kicker. For rank two, data is zero. For rank two, data is four after broadcast. So before broadcast it was zero, and after broadcast it's four. Likewise, for all other processes, all other processes, the before value is two, and then the after value is four. Sweet, there you go. And now let's actually play around with this code. Now this broadcast option is working. Now let's actually play around with this code to see if uh, we notice something peculiar or something odd. Now let's say I instead of this choice value choice by in, I set this to zero by default. Let me say I put this to say. Um, uh, three, so process number in mean, the process with uh, ID three should actually change, and so three plus two is two, three plus two is five, five squared is twenty five. So the after broadcast data should be twenty five. So when I run this, there you go. All the the, the data that is on the data, the, I mean the we we how do I put it? The rank that actually processes this I mean the the process ID that actually broadcasts this is actually uh, is actually three, so it's going to give us twenty five after bro after broadcasting. Cool. And now, just for a little more clarification, what we can actually do is before this, uh, I mean after this PMPI broadcast, we can print this line so that uh, we can avoid any ambiguity. Now, if we run this, let, okay, let me clear this. Now, let me run this. Now you say it says here that rank three broadcasted data. Now we're now we are pretty much confirm as to which process is actually doing all this uh, broadcasting. And now, now you might ask me, can't I just club these two stay? 
club all these statements together in one shot why do i have to write them together you might ask me like this which is actually a valid question i'm going to answer that for you the one thing is like i could have copied this and put put the put it in this statement right now check this out i did this initially and i noticed something peculiar about it so i'm going to copy this line of code now and paste it over here paste it over here and run this code and check this out first first thing you notice is that uh, other than process other than process 3 other than process 3 all other processes co completed and uh, you see none of them got any value broadcasted and notice this one Be the only line before the only line pertaining to the process 3 pro I mean process 83 uh, that had a print that before the MPI broadcast that only worked and after that all the lines correspond to that pro that process uh, after broadcast did not work so the B cast did not work okay this B cast did not work nor nor uh, this line worked not this series of lines worked not this line worked for process 3 and as a consequence that raise the result is not printed yet and you see the program is program freezes over as in it's not freeze it it just hung up like that okay so and uh, and also the objective for broadcasting data that also failed over here now let me cancel this i mean there's no other way to do it but i just have to execute this i mean extra terminate this and now what we do, what we do is that i'll do another thing instead of choice equal to three let me put this let me tell the master process do all this let me notice what actually happened now if we tell the master process to do it within the master process the data did work out fine and the program did not freeze unlike, unlike the previous case but but notice all this the data has not been broadcasted successfully why is this happening i really don't know i really don't know i've been trying to search the search an answer for this for the past few days i really couldn't get a proper explanation i mean maybe i might have got an explanation but i, I didn't fully notice the full notice this if at all you guys figure out and figured out an answer as to why this anomalous behavior is happening let me let please put it in the comment that might be useful for me as well as other people who are watching this video so please do that if you figure it out okay and uh, so then hence the word of caution on the top let the MPI be uh, let the MPI be cast be outside the if construct for the process that broadcast otherwise the program freezes like we saw if the master process is used the data is not broadcasted although the program does not freeze so as a rule of thumb uh, as a rule of thumb what you do is do not paste it over here as a rule of thumb do not write the broadcast in, in broadcast here program hangs if master process used the program the data is not broadcasted so it is better to write the program on the outside all right so let me clear this up and try this one more time there you go and here it came out to be perfect because if you look at it before broadcast all the processes have zero and after broadcasting so it's rank zero broadcaster so and after broadcasting all the values are four and the value four corresponded to process zero there you go now that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time with another interesting video uh, possibly in the next video we will go into a uh, we might go into a few more uh, simple example topics uh, example topics before jumping into one actual application i just want to make sure that people are comfortable with some basic concepts before we actually jump into a slightly sophisticated one all right so till then take care